Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the house, and welcome to another episode of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Last time, we have 100%ed every level in the game. Wait, oh yeah, you guys got a good view. Um, we've 100%ed everything. We've 100%ed Summer Forest, Autumn Plains, and Winter Tundra. As well as offline, I went and got some of the skill points offline. Well, except the last one, too, which involves the final boss. So anyway, with that out of the way, uh, we still have uh, the Professor's Incomplete Orb-Powered Portal, which, we, although we have collected every single orb in the game, that's somehow still not enough to power up the portal. I don't know, which, it doesn't really matter now since, you know, we still gotta deal with Ripto. Anyway, the time has finally come. We've collected all the treasure, every possible orb, all the talismans. All that is left at this point is to go forth and defeat Ripto. Although it will be sort of easy since we have the infinite super flame. But this is it. Right, I'm ready now. I got everything I could. Let's get this party started. I'm ready to torch this guy. Oh, not the innocent sheep, Ripto. Come on. I get you're evil, but you don't have to do that. Shouldn't have looked like... The sheep should have dodged that. What? what? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. All right, let's go. I like that idea. Dragon, you just sealed your fate. Okay, though we have the infinite super flame, I want to try taking on this boss without using the super flame on him, because you can deal damage to him like the other bosses with the infinite super flame. So I'm going to try and not do that. Just as a means to show you guys what you will need to do to deal damage to Ripto regularly. So let's go. Hey, Zoe. We want to help you fight Ripto. And Laura is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. Hunter will throw the powered up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power up energy. So you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. So implementing the power of the orbs. We're going to uh do some stuff. So yeah, yeah, Ripto, we ain't standing still. Why would we do that? And and yeah, we already failed the perfect. Here we go. For ah! So yeah, basically there's a bunch of super-powered orbs acro scattered across the arena. Uh, that hunter will scatter across the arena. And with them, we can gain access to it supreme power. And yeah, you can get your hands on the basic super flame, as well as other powers, which I will show once I get the opportunity to show them to you. So if you, your, the final orb you collect is a green orb, you can unleash green, uh, these green balls at Ripto to deal damage to him. And then for the... Oh, jeez. He, oh, he collected a full set, that's why. Yeah, that's what Ripto can do if he collects a full set of red orbs. And, oh, jeez. No. No. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, if Ripto collects a full set of green orbs, he'll unleash this kind of attack on you. And, oh, no! Let's not have that happen. Okay, wait. Okay. So, and then by getting all the blue orbs, we get a super ch temporary supercharge. Allowing us to bash into Ripto. And, oh, wait, Ripto's going with the fire shock wave again. The flare wave. Anyway, there's one more attack I want to show off before we continue. I don't know why the middle of the arena is singed like that. 
But if I do it, if Hunter drops a blue orb, I'll pick it up. Alright, I'm not gonna attack him. Just as a means of uh, making sure... No! That's not the attack I want to show off. Okay, I'll let him pick up those other two orbs. Go ahead and pick those up, Ripto. So I want to show off his blue attack. The game is not letting me show it. Okay, wait, where's the orb? Oh, he's coming after me. Which means, yeah, he usually goes running after you when there's no um, orbs on the battlefield. I'm just going to make sure he specifically picks up a blue orb. There you go, pick it up. I want to show you all your variety of attacks. So pick that up. So when he collects a full set of blue orbs, he'll gain an electricity force field, and we'll go running towards you with it. So that's all the variety of attacks he has. So I'm going to finish him off now. And of course, we're nowhere near done with this final battle. He now summons a robotic gulp, and the fight gets a ridiculously lot harder. So once again, I'm going to try and show off the variety of attacks he has as, at his di disposal before going and... Uh, actually, I shouldn't have picked that up. I wanted to show off his attack variety. And now Ripto has, for some reason, has a lot better aim with his attacks for some reason. I'm actually going to let uh, Ripto pick up that um, orb. But yeah, now having this robotic gulp at his disposal... That shows the power of his scepter. He's quite pow Why isn't he picking up any of the orbs? Alright, well, I guess I'll attack you once and hopefully attack you again. Yes. There he goes. Now he goes and picks up one of the orbs. So when he gets a full red set of orbs, he will, uh, once he does it here, unleash sort of like a fire missile at you, which you can actually reflect right back at him. See, you can reflect the fire missiles back at him. And, okay, he's unleashing the green attack now. So when he gets a full set of green orbs in this phase, he can unleash laser eyes. And, okay, that just leaves a full blue set of orbs. What else? Oh, good sheep. No! No! Alright, calm down, Ripto. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not sure if the robotic gulp can eat the sheep as well. I have no idea. But, okay, he just needs to, one more orb to show off his blue attack. There we go. So let's see what his blue attack is once he gains a full color set. Oh, jeez. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Alright, well, that's all the color, the variety in his attacks in this phase. But wow, he has a surprisingly better aim with his scepter. Like, this is just as hard as Gulp himself. That's right, you ain't getting your hands on that orb, Ripto. Now, seeing how I've showed everything off in this phase... I could just finish him off with the infinite super flame ability. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play this fight fair. Oh, another thing I should probably bring up. Is that, um... Another thing I should bring up. Is that... Every time... Um... In his back in his first phase... Oh, I'm going to let him pick that up. Because then he'll fire the missile that I can reflect back at him. Uh, but in the first phase of the fight, if you were to... Uh, there we go. But in the first phase of the fight, uh, if you used regular flame on him, it wouldn't hurt him, but it would knock him back. Oh, oh no, Hunter's down. In case you can see that, Hunter got knocked down, and he uses the scepter on a golden orb to give himself that bird. And there goes the battlefield. Now we're on the, to the final phase of the fight, where now we go into the skies... Um, wielding the power of a golden orb. Ripto uses one to make a robotic bird. 
And now Ripto's projectiles from his Sceptire can home in on you in the final phase. So now he has a robotic pterodactyl at his disposal. And so yeah, now this is a really cool fight, I gotta say. Not fully sure to say if this is the hardest phase, but you get both uh, Infinite Flight and Infinite Super Flame in this final phase. So the Infinite Super Flame um, will not really be all that effect, won't give you that much of an advantage in this final phase. All right, where's he at? Where'd he go? Uh, yeah, also, once you start getting him onto low health, he'll start going around like the buildings and outside of the battlefield to attack you. Which is a pretty cheap move, in my opinion, but oh well. And with that... Oh, get the last hit on him. Yes! And with that, Ripto is finished. Bam! And with that, we retrieve the power crystal, and peace is restored to Avalar. Hold on, the camera looks a bit tilted. Okay, it looks fine now. But that's it. We did it. We saved the day. Job well done, Spyro. Yes. <laughs> Spyro's face. Yeah. Hey, I think that money bag we did all this work for a vacation. What? Okay. Well then. Really? It didn't look like he was sorry. Yeah, he didn't look very sorry there. Yes. You can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we right. can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning right. up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you oh. visit. Well, okay. Oh. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah. Well, with that... We finally get our long overdue vacation. To think that this started just from simply wanting the vacation only to get summoned to save the world again. And now after all of our hard work of being a hero, we finally get our long deserved vacation. And I think most of the credits are the same as it was last time, so I'm not going to bother showing them again. Just because we already showed that last time. So Ripto is finished. But we are still not done yet. Uh, reason number one is I still got to get perfect on him. Reason number two is that by finishing the game and now having the power crystal, we can actually go to Dragon Shores itself. Uh, also, in case you didn't notice, we're now back up to 10,000 gems. We originally weren't at that before because, you know, money bags had our gems. But we actually have all of our gems back now. So you can head back to Winter Tundra through the portal. But with that, we can finally enjoy some time at the beach. Yeah. So anyway, we have this guy right here. All right. Gatekeeper Nilly's. Let's head in. So this is the Dragon Shores book. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, interesting how Norks are running this place. I thought that was called Dragon Shores. Why are Norks running the place? Ooh, this will be fun. Oh, yeah, another thing to let you guys know is that when you first get to this place, if you decide to fi finish the game early, it will require you at least 55 tokens to get into the park here. If you don't have uh, 55 orbs collected, you won't be able to get in here. But yes, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Okay, so this over here, this door right here, is where you can get the infinite super flame power-up that I currently wield. So with that, now we can 
use uh, the Super Flame in any level we so please. Originally, yeah, I don't know why we had it early on. I think it's just like... Um, I think if you get it on any of the files, it'll affect all the files, which, in my opinion, is pretty stupid, but... Oh well. So let's see what we can all do here. Snowman Milk. Showman Milk. Really? Oh, really? Sure. Well, of course, because water is mostly harmless to most of these creatures. So, first we have the Yeti, <laughs> just enjoying his time in there. I like how they put some personality into them there. <laughs> I like how they put in some more personality. Yes, that was pretty funny. Of course, thank you very much. So, as they said, there are... Uh, there are a total of 10 tokens we can get our hands on. And we can shoot again at more creatures. The Yeti was only the first one. There are multiple creatures here. Now we've got an Earth Shaper. With that, we got another one. Yeah, this is probably the easiest, like... Actually, no, there's one easier minigame than this. Very simple to hit the target. But there is actually a... Hard, oh, the chef from Sunny Beach. Okay. <laughs> wow, you really are a great shot. Take this. It's my last token. Well, that's all you got? Alright. I thought he had more than three tokens. Oh, no, wait. I thought you said that was your last token. It looks like there's another... Oh, that might be the regular Nork. Normally, once you get all the tokens, usually the Yeti shows up again, but it looks like they just have regular Norks in there now. Good shot, but I'm clean out of tokens. Keep shooting if you want. Oh, so like the same creatures from before now show up. Okay. But yeah, that's about it here. There's still a lot more to do in Dragon Shores. There is actually a minigame easier than the one we just did, and you'll see what it is in a moment. Uh, what do you have to say? Hey there, young fella. I'd sure like to let you into the Dragon Shores Theater. The Dragon Shores Theater, okay. Try visiting the other attractions first. Alright, so in order to enter the theater, we need to have ten tokens. Yeah, there's still quite a bit for us to do here besides, you know, enjoying getting a good tan on the beach. We've got all these fun attractions to play. Well, not that fun, I guess, but... They're nice little mini games to play, nice little attractions. And if you play every single attraction and beat them all, you can get your hands on enough tokens to enter the theater. Snowman so Nelson. Nelson. Of course. Okay. I'll set the timer for you. So this one you're on a time limit to shoot the ducks. And um Oh the timers, I guess how long the power up lasts. But this mini game is fairly simple. Just shoot at the ducks. Well, shoot at the targets, basically. Nice little shooting game. At least it's a lot uh, easier than the actual duck shooting game or punching game. And yes, there's multiple rounds, just like the dunk tank one. Set the timer. And yeah, we, so we have. It's basically, with how this works, is a bunch of enemies and. You basically got to take care of them all. And let's go. Gotcha. Nice shooting. Here's a nice shot. That's what inspired the nice shot thing from Wii Sports. Yes, let's go. Oh, those lizards. The lizards from Gliver have returned. They're back for more. All right, let's go. Take that. Here is my last token. Yeah, these mini games are fairly simple. Come on back anytime, Spyro. And uh, so, 
Those mini games are um, actually, you know, decent mini games. This is the, by far the easiest mini game in the game right here. Watch. Watch this. Okay, so we can take a ride on this. We only get one token for this, but we can hop aboard the, um, I'm guessing that, the good old Tunnel of Love. And we can look at all that's going on here. We got Hen and Greta, I think they were called, the Chef and a, a Seder. Hey, the Professor and one of the Glimmer Mices. We got a, a Baby Turtle and a Seder. That's a, or one of those guys in a... Oh, what? What is the chef doing in our cart? What? The chef was not in our Yes, I know. We know that already. Everyone is telling me to get ten tokens to get into the theater. But now... So those were basic attractions, but the true fun attraction, like in every amusement park, is the roller coaster. But how do you structure the track that you have to have other coasters out? Oh, and uh, you got a few turtles out on the track as well. You might want to take a look at that. But yeah, basically in this mini game, you basically got to pop all the balloons while riding the coaster. As well as avoid any other coasters or other obstacles out on the track. I don't know how they structure this roller coaster. That's that is very unsafe. That's like some massive liability issues right there. I must say, like a, a roller coaster like that would get you a ton of block suits in no time. All right, so now we have more tracks unlocked. Uh, yes, we know. It, the track's still pretty crowded, even with multiple tracks we can now go down. It's usually best to take the left... I said the left track. I did not want to take that track. Okay, maybe I have to hold that... Why can't I go down the left track? Go down the left track! Why am I not going down the left track? Alright, let's try... Let's try the other analog stick. Maybe that will get... Nope! That didn't help at all. What are... What's it gonna take to get him to know I want to go left? There we go. Why didn't that work before? When I wanted to go left. Oh, wait a minute. Can I speed... Oh, no, I can't. There we go. So I, I think I have to hold down a specific button and turn left. Or hold down left. Okay, I have, to, it's, I have to hold down the square button, then turn left. In order for the cart to actually go to the left. Why is it structured that way? Why couldn't I just simply uh, press the left button to turn left? Oh. Yeah, um... Yeah, um, you're lucky that I don't bring any lawsuits on you, pal. Because if you want it, because if I wanted to, I could bring out some lawsuits. I did not want to go this way. I specifically did not want to go this way. The game is ma forcing me to go this way. Why? Why is the game making me go this way? Yes. That is the direction I want to go. So please go that way. Why did it not work the first time? Okay. Okay, dodged you that time. Why you got so many baby turtles on the track? I get you have other coasters, but what's with all the baby turtles on the track? Okay. Hold square, then left. Okay. It works. 
You just have to hold down square and left. I don't entirely understand why that didn't work before, but okay. You could have just simply held down the left button and that would have been good. I don't know why I had to do that. So that leaves us with a total of nine tokens. One more run. Oh, great. It's basically the trolley mission again. This is basically the trolley mission. Like, this may get just as annoying as the trouble with the trolley, eh? So, not only do we have to pop the balloons along the line, but we have to use the add-on cannon in order to be able to shoot at the balloons. That is pretty complex. Also, why do you have a cannon on a roller coaster is what I'm wondering as well. Oh, that was close. How did I miss that? I somehow missed that balloon. Oh well, I can always try again. At least I don't have to deal with the other coasters again. We don't have to deal with the other coasters out there. Which are for some reason going the opposite direction I'm going. Alright, go this way. Ha! Gotcha. We almost got them all. Yeah, once you know where the location of all the baby turtles and the uh, other coasters are, uh, this should be fairly simple. Eight, nine, and we're done. You call that natural? And with that, we have collected everything in. No. Right. Although I would say personally that I am a roller coaster person, but now we have all ten tokens. Well, it doesn't show it, but we have all ten tokens. Yes. Go on in and enjoy the show. Alright. Sounds good to me. And now, by unlocking the theater in Dragon Shores, we can... We can now go on and watch every single cutscene in the game again. So we could go back and watch a cutscene like, uh, let's see here. Like, we could watch a cutscene like this, uh, like this one again. It's what we could do in the movie theater. <laughs> so yeah, basic detail is that you can watch cutscenes again. With the movie theater. So if there was something you missed from the cutscenes that you wanted to see again. Or something important you wanted to look at. So anything. You can basically head into the movie theater here. And you can basically watch it. I'm going to look at that closely at this post. Spire Reignite Trilogy. Oh wow the design of those thieves are cool. That's some actually really cool looking art. I gotta say they really did a good job designing this game. But with that, that is just about everything we can do in Dragon Shores. We got the um, all the mini games done that can give us tokens. We checked out the theater. We at 100%ed the game, which gave us the infinite super flame power up, which is where we shouldn't we we should have gotten it. No. Um. But with that, that about finishes off everything we can do in the spiral. Re Wait. Actually, I just remembered we're not done yet. We still, though we have done everything in Dragon Shores and done everything we can in the game, we still need to get a perfect on the Ripto fight. So before I call it a video, I'm going to quick head back to Avalar. 
And we're going to fight Ripto again just to get the last skill point. Because then we can be able to look at the art gallery. And then we'll truly be done. Now this time I will probably use the Super Flame Power Up. Just because I want to sprint through the fight. As well as, um... Not have to go through any annoyances. I would love to play the fight fair and give myself a challenge. But I am not in the mood for that right now, because I want to be done with this. And I already gave him a fair fight before. So I'm just going to sprint through this boss battle. And we're going to be done. So if you want to... Fast forward through me, quick fighting Ripto, you can. Although this should be real quick since I have the infinite super flame power up. For real this time. Yes, yes we know. Get him. You didn't see that coming, did ya? Wait, can I skip this? I'm guessing I can't skip this. Yeah, just get them. Yeah, the, the first two faces are absolute pushovers when you have the infinite super flame power-up. As you could just... Just chip away at his health. Look at that. The first two, two faces using the infinite super flame power-up, they were absolute pushovers. Now... This is where the fight gets interesting. Oh, jeez. Well, I gotta be careful here, because I don't want to get hit by any of his projectiles. Ah, okay, that doesn't seem to count as a hit. Which is a good thing. Oh, jeez. So apparently he can knock me down by bashing into me, but for some reason can't... Actually, deal damage to me with regular projectiles. Okay, I don't want to get hit by his projectiles, so I'm going to play this safe. And he's going around the building. Of course. There he is. Oh, jeez! Ah, that was close. Okay, I just need to get one more hit off of him, and we're done here. No, I missed. I just need to get one more hit off. Did he go around the building again? I cannot tell if he did or he did not go around the building again. Gotcha. Yet again, like that's an even a more painful death than Nasty Nork's death. Nasty Nork, he just simply got toasted. All right, we don't need to see the cutscene again. We know what happened. And we don't need to see the credits again because we already saw it when we finished off the first game. But with that, now that we've got all the skill points, we have now unlocked the entire art gallery. Yes. I must say, it is really cool to see... Uh, uh, the original game here in all this detail. This was truly a sight to behold as I was playing this game. And I did enjoy playing this game. Like, it truly felt like uh, I was playing Spyro again. Okay, congratulations! Parts 1 and 2 of the art gallery have been unlocked. So, let's open up the art gallery and we can take a look at it. So this is the Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. That's what the remastered version of the original artwork would look like. It's looks like it's the design of the original. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've never seen the, this gallery before. Like, Keep in mind, this is a remastered version of the original game. So I've never seen some of these before. But it looks like what the um, main box art for the uh, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage would look like. If it were remastered, which looks really cool looking, by the way. That looks really good. We have Hunter. Ooh, that looks really cool, actually. Really good. 
These are like designs when they were busy drawing them. They look, they look pretty good. Uh, really. Showing the designs of these characters. Wow, that detail. That looks really good. Shapers and Killer Bush. Cresta Seder and the. No, I wasn't done with that yet. Let me take a look at that. Where was I here? I was right here. Cresta Seder and Bippo the Fawn. Okay. Alright, the Bo Peep, Fire Girl. Oh, it's all the, um. Bl the Blubbers. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Juliet and Romeo. Oh, wait, did I miss something? Okay, Robot Farmer, Robo Bean, Robo Gra I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. I'm very sorry about that, everyone. Okay. Robot Farmer, Robo Bean, Robo Grasshopper. Glug and. L and the Lava Lizard. Ice and Fire Wizards. Ooh. I never even noticed that difference that, like, there's Ice Wizards in the uh, Frozen Peak level. Or what was it called? I forget. And the uh, uh, Fire Wizards in the Skelos Badlands level. I never even thought about that. Shady Oasis, Genie, and Shielded Armored Thief. Shielded Armed Thief. Oh, I... <laughs> The genie, the looks of the genie kind of reminds me of, um, the main villain in The Emperor's New Groove, kind of. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Okay, Gear Grinder, Gear Grinder Robot, and Gear Grinder Thief. Greta and Handle, oh, they look nice. They look adorable. Armored Space Cow, Sheep UFO, Rocket Pig, and Man- Sure, Droid. <laughs> I like how the sheep just looks like, I don't want to be here. Why am I here? Why am I doing this? <laughs> this sheep looks funny. Oh, these are some of the speedway uh, obstacles. Yeah. That's what they are. Gulp and Pterodactyl. Okay, what about Crush? There we go. Crush and Ripto. Really good looking designs, I gotta say. But, oh, that's it. But with that, that completes just about everything that we can do in Spyro to Ripto's Rage. So with that, with that now being completed, we have 120% the original game, we have 100%ed um, Spyro 2, and with that, that only leaves one game in the original PlayStation 1 trilogy to go. Or a remastered version of the original games from the original PlayStation 1 trilogy. We ha only have Year of the Dragon left to go. We played the remastered version of the first game, the reignited second game, and now we just need to play the reignited version of the third and final game from the original PlayStation trilogy, Year of the Dragon, which is, without question, my favorite of the three, so I know I'm gonna love it. Hopefully I can still enjoy the Speedway levels as I did before, because, man, the Speedway and Flight levels in this game have not been as enjoyable as they originally had been, so, with that, it's maybe a little while till I get to this, because I've got some storage issues with my phone since my phone doesn't have a lot of storage, so I'm going to need some time to upload this, so it may seem like, you know, I'm uploading at a constant rate of this game for you guys, but it may be a while till I personally can get back to this game myself. Keep in mind, too, that uh, I'm playing this at my brother's house, so... I mostly have to visit him to play this, but with that, we are done here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time as we begin Year of the Dragon. Until next time, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and I am out of here.